have you watching we news i'm rachel at the studio i will report some latest technology news do you believe that you can know your health condition simply through your skin according to bbc news researchers in japan have developed electronic skins with an organic circuit that can be worn on the human body it is 10 times thinner than the skin cell and lighter than the feather it can volatile your health and for someone who loves cool stuff, it can be worn as an electronic tattoo. Even more surprising is that it can probably generate a television picture on your hand in the near future. Second, as is known to all, we are now in an age of digital technology not only adults, but also young kids are fond of using smartphones and pads. According to BBC News, a recent research showed that Toddlers who spend time playing on smartphones and tablets seem to get slightly less sleep than those who do not. The study in scientific reports suggests every hour spent using a touch screen each day was limited to 15 minutes less sleep. Meanwhile, Dr. Tim Smith, one of the researchers, said that toddlers who actively use touch screen accelerates the development of motor skills. So here comes the problem. Are children allowed to play with touch screen? Now let us listen to the public's opinion. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny and I'm the reporter of Green News. Now I'm going to interview some people randomly and find out what they think. Excuse me miss, may I have a short interview with you? Yes, of course. So what do you think of the phenomenon that children play mobile phones at a young age? Um, well, I think that they are allowed to play smartphones, but parents need to control the time they play. For instance, uh, they can only play touch screens one hour a day, otherwise they will be addicted to it. Uh, they need to realize the uh, the harm of playing touch screens for too long and it can be bad for them to sleep. You know, uh, sleeping is very important for them to grow up healthy. So how old do you think kids can start playing smartphones? About 10, I think. Okay, thank you for your thoughts. Excuse me, miss. I'm the reporter of Green News. Can I have a short interview with you? Oh, yeah, sure. Do you think that children can be given touch screens to play with? Mm, no, I don't think so, because if children are prematurely exposed to touch screens, they may short sighted, which is really painful when they grow up, and it's also bad for their childhood. Children ought to um, get close and discover the beauty of nature. Um, they need to make friends with others instead of playing smartphone at home. They need to um, have a healthy body and mind. If I have a kid, I will definitely not let him or her to do that. So, how old do you think children can play with touch screen? Mm, maybe about 14 years old, when they can control themselves well. I think I will do that. Okay, that's a good idea. Thank you so much. So, now let's ask someone else. Excuse me, Miss. I'm a reporter from B News. May I have a short interview with you? Yes, sure. What do you think about the phenomenon that children play smartphone at a young age? Are they allowed to play with touch screens? Uh, well, I think that it's quite normal for kids to play touch screens now because they were born in this digital age and natives. Uh, everyone is using electronic or mobile devices. This is a trend that can be averted. Um, maybe the earlier they, they use touch screens, the smarter they will be. How old do you think kids can play mobile phones? Uh, since they know how to write and read, I think. Okay, thank you for your time. Welcome back. Thank you, Jenny. It seems that everyone has his own idea, and we will wait for the further research. Let's talk about another news.
Thank you, Rachel. Now let's focus on some other news that happened in the world recently. According to VOA News, U.S. President Donald Trump hosts an Easter activity for children on Monday. The event has been a U.S. tradition for more than a century. About 21,000 children and their parents went the lawn near the president's house to take part in Easter celebration. These are all the news we bring to you today. Thank you for watching. See you again the same time tomorrow. EGTN is committed to reporting global news from a different perspective, giving viewers an alternative take on the issues affecting the world today.